I could stop losing my tarot cards, that'd be great, but that doesn't seem to happen. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Tarot Card Tuesday. My name is Julia Pasqua and welcome back to Lilith's Attic. This week we have the most positive card out of the Tarot Card deck, the Sun. So to parallel the card we had last week where we had the Moon, now we have the Sun. Now the Sun card to me is almost aggressively positive. <laughs> so the Sun card basically represents something positive in your tarot reading. No matter what reading, what other cards you have pulled, the sun brings sunshine and positivity and hope to that reading. So within the sun card, you have the sun at the top, representing the sun card, and then you have this happy infant naked child on top of a horse, which is supposed to represent the return of innocence, of purity. He's holding a red flag, which is supposed to resemble passion and love, and this is a very hopeful, happy, positive card. There is nothing negative about this card at all. We have the sunflowers in the back that are blooming, which show that a new hope and, and exciting and happy things are blooming in your life. I know earlier in the series I said that no cards are necessarily negative, they're just kind of all lessons, but this card is extremely positive. <laughs> like I said, aggressively positive. Like, it almost feels like, I don't want to say toxic positivity, but it just feels like it's just like happiness slapping you across the face. So if you pull this card, it says that it is a bright time, essentially after you've gone through some dark things. We have done some pretty dark tarot cards or hard tarot cards these past couple weeks. And the sun is supposed to be saying like, you've, you've had these hard things. You are now coming into the light. You are seeing the sun. It's like after a big storm has passed through, now the sun is out and everyone is going, ah, the sun's back out. If you pull this card, it's meant to represent clarity coming your way. The sun is essentially shining down on your situation. You see things in a new light in a good way. It's a very rewarding time in your life, a very productive time in your life. If you pull this card in reverse, it doesn't mean that the sun becomes a negative card. This card, if pulled whichever way, is a very, very positive card. It means that you are still getting that sunshine coming in your life. It just might be coming a little bit slower than you're hoping for. It's going to take a little bit longer for those clouds to clear, and you just have to be patient, but there is that sunshine peeking through. It's coming through, and it will come through fully. It just might not be happening within the time frame that you'd like it to. All right. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's go do the card. Come on. All right, so for my card, I was perplexed at making this aggressively positive. Like there's just how, what am I going to do in my style and my life and my perspective that is similar to a naked baby riding on a horse in the sunshine with the sunflowers. And I was just like, ah, and once I read the line that it's the light after a time of darkness, I could kind of start to see where I wanted to go with this card. So what I decided and what I pictured is, you know, like I, I've said, the, the sunshine through the storm, the clouds clearing, the moment where you don't know when you're going to see the sun next and it just all of a sudden appears. And I thought about when you're going for a hike or if you've been walking through the woods a lot, the trees tend to kind of cover the sun even if there is sunshine out. And then that moment where you break free from the trees and you look up at the sky and finally you see the sun and that moment of just basking in the sun and being like, ah, oh, there it is. I get a break. I can see the sky. The world is opening up again. I really wanted to capture that kind of moment of just basking in the sun after you've been longing for it. So my card, we're going to have a deep forest. I've been out in the mountains a lot and doing a lot of hiking, and I feel that this just is kind of where my head's at. So we're going to have a deep forest and this woman person walking through and getting toward that break in the trees and seeing the sun and just opening their arms up wide and looking up at the sky and just taking that moment by themselves to just bask in it and enjoy that return to warmth or return to, I don't know if it exactly represents innocence, but the innocence and the essence of nature and what that sun kind of brings to nature, which is like a new life or a continued life and just that hope and, and rejoice basking in the sun. Just like a sunflower. A sunflower is always keep their faces towards the sun. So I always think that really positive outlook on life, you know, always follow the sun no matter where it goes, keep an eye on that positivity. So I do wanna also include a sunflower down here at the bottom looking up at the sun, also basking in its glory, also taking that time which this card provides to have productivity and taking that time to rejoice. So we have this huge sun, which I don't know if I've just made aggressive or positively aggressive or just enthralling. So we have this huge sun at the top of the card, which is representing the sun card and representing that light and that positivity that is pushing through, that is coming through. Even if it's taking a little longer, it's peeking its head through and people and the flowers and all of nature is just rejoicing and basking in its light and in its 
warmth and its hope and its positivity. Taking that time to have a new sense of light in your life. Also an important part of my card is if you ever go hiking, they always say if you get lost, find the river because the water will always flow down and then you can always get back down the mountain. So I think it's important to have this body of water next to her because she has been working through trying to get through the forest. Sometimes you don't know which way you're going or sometimes you don't know if there's ever an end to the dark forest, but if you can find a river, if you can find something kind of guiding to get you out into that sun to kind of get you a break, then and it's very important. So I think that the river is a really important tool that I'm using visually in this as well to show that you have worked through something hard to get this time in the sun. That's the sun card, you guys. We only have two more cards left in the major arcana. And then we have the suits. We have cups, wands, swords, pentacles, and we are going to start diving into those. So this week, you guys, really take a moment to just bask in the sun, enjoy it. You have walked through that forest. You have been able to find that river. You have really pushed yourself to get here and, and really just take that time to really just enjoy that moment where you can be in the sun, just arms spread out and, and enjoying it. As always, truly, thank you guys so much for being here. I cannot tell you what it means to me. I have a lot coming up. If you don't already, you can go on my website. It's down in the description box, lilisattic.com. I'll put it up here on the screen as well. There's a show schedule up there. I am very, very, very busy until like the end of January and still booking out shows until then, but this is kind of my season, my season to go. I will be at Spooky Empire coming up, which is my next big show. Then I'm going to have a show up in Lake Eola, November 5th and November 6th, and then I go into the Suncoast Renaissance Festival last two weeks in November, first two weekends in December, and then I have the Brevard Renaissance Festival on the other coast in Melbourne in January and first weekend of February. So I'll be very busy coming up. I'm super excited to be out there with you guys again and talking with you and sharing my work. I hope you all have an absolutely lovely and beautiful and sunshiny week, if not in the weather, at least in your life. Thank you guys so much for being here, each and every one of you. It really makes a difference to me, and I love being able to share my work with you guys. So have a lovely week, and I will see you next Tuesday. Mwah! Bye! Pentacles, swords, cups. I don't know, but we're going to learn what the fourth one is. I'm blanking right now.